I want to be able to share things that everybody missed when I was being trafficked so that it's not missed for other people. And that was the point of a statewide meeting in Tampa today. Survivors helping lead the charge to stop human trafficking in Florida. As 10 News reporter Liz Crawford explains, one of the first orders of business was preparing for the Super Bowl in Tampa, an event that's guaranteed to bring the sex industry to the Bay Area. I had heard of human trafficking, but it like was like pictures of people tied up and stuff. And so I was like, well, that's not me. But then when I learned what it really was, I learned that that's what was happening to me. For most of the people in this room, talking about stopping human trafficking is just that, talk. For Savannah Parview, it was her life. My mother is the one who started trafficking me. Parview was trafficked for more than a decade in Central Florida. Now, just seven years later, she's helping Florida's most powerful people figure out how to stop it. We have already started our enforcement and our education and our prevention efforts here in the Tampa Bay area. Hillsborough County Sheriff Chad Cronister spoke about preparations ahead of Super Bowl 55 in Tampa in 2021. Everybody believing that the Tampa Bay area is the place to go because there's a free sex trade because it's it's the home of the strip club. We're going to go down there and engage in all type of sexual activity. So we wanted to get out in front of it. We wanted to start early to make sure that we send a loud and clear message that there's going to be zero tolerance. The sheriff's office is already working with nonprofits in Hillsborough County to not just arrest buyers and sellers, but to save the people being trafficked. 90% of those arrests were individuals coming from around other places in the country to have sex with minors. So the thing that it still I don't know if it haunts me, but that I think about the most is all the situations that I was in where people saw me and nobody ever asked anything. So it was almost like I didn't, either I didn't matter or I didn't exist. Another part of Florida's anti-trafficking push includes training hotel workers across the state on how to spot human trafficking and report it. Training begins this fall.